Hello, let's dive into the Magento Cloud CLI. As I've mentioned before in previous videos, the Magento Cloud CLI can assist us in managing our Adobe Commerce Cloud projects through the CLI. Now, let's take a moment to refer to Adobe's documentation to see how we can install it and then to explore the various options it provides. So on the documentation page, you have a couple of steps that need to be taken in order to install Magento Cloud CLI. So the first one is to download the CLI installer. Then you need to register Magento Cloud in your shell, in your bash profile. So you just export this variable and then you just reload the updated bash profile and you should be able to run the Magento Cloud CLI comments. So on the first try, when you run Magento Cloud, you will need to actually log into your Adobe Commerce Cloud account. Um, so the CLI comment will provide you some URL that you need to uh, click and you will be redirected to the login page for Adobe Commerce Cloud. So you just need to complete that. And then once you run Magento Cloud, you will get actually some information about projects. So I've already done this. So let's now switch to CLI and see what options we have. So I'm in a projects directory and this is a directory where I store all, all my projects. Um, so here, if I run Magento Cloud, um, I will get some basic information about like projects that are assigned to me. I have only one project. This is the Vimo Pro, which we saw in the previous video. And here is actually the dashboard of it. So right now, if we want to download this project to our local machine, we can use it, um, this code button, and we can download it, like we can clone it by using this Magento Cloud CLI or by Git. So let's go and use the Magento Cloud CLI. So we can copy that, we'll get back to uh, our shell and run this command. So we specify the directory and it should clone the whole project for us. So it's done. Let's go to our new directory called Vimo Pro 12. Right now we are in the master branch. And if you run right now the Magento Cloud command, we will get a basic information about our project. So Magento Cloud is a context specific tool. Uh, so if we go to a Adobe Commerce Cloud project, it will automatically detect it and we will get information about our project that we are currently in. So we have like project title, project ID, project dashboard. So this is the URL to our dashboard. We have list of environments that are active, inactive and so on. And couple of useful comments. Uh, and if we run a Magento Cloud list, we will get all of, we'll get list of all of the comments that are available for us. I will provide a brief overview of the most common comments. Um, however, we will later also practice using these comments and actually then we will delve into more details. And before we start, it's important to notice that some of those comments are connected to Git and we can do some things in a couple of ways. So we saw, for example, that we could actually get project by Git clone or we could do um, the same by Magento Cloud get comment and here is actually the same so for example when we go and find environment checkout um, this is an alternative for git checkout we have environment push this is also an alternative for git push git branch for environment branch and so on but keep in mind that magento cloud adds some additional layer um, to, to make management of our projects easier so we can of course do git checkout but uh, environment checkout will give us some additional options and parameters so it's actually easier to use a magento cloud cli because it was created specifically to make our life easier so let's start with the um, top sections um, so let's start with activity so activity refers to a deployment or an operation that has been performed on the cloud environment these activities typically involve changes to the Magento application code base, configuration settings or other aspects of the environment. So we can list activities on any environment, get some insights, connect to logs and even cancel a stack one. In the app section, um, we can see configuration of our Magento application, uh, but we will dive into the details when talking about the configuration files. 
So there is auth section that has that can be used to like log out from our Adobe Commerce uh, Cloud account, uh, to login and so on. Um, backup is actually a shortcut for snapshot creation. Also, we will tackle it later. We have also a comment uh, for a setup of Blackfire. And if you haven't used Blackfire, Blackfire is a performance profiling tool designed for web applications. It helps um, developers identify and optimize performance bottlenecks in their code by providing insights into like function calls, execution times and resource usage. So with this tool, we can um, analyze and improve the speed and efficiency of our applications. And this command is actually used to configure Blackfire. In the certificate section, we can actually have, like we have some comments to manage a certificates for our project. A commit to actually like get a git commit list or get a specific insights about some specific commit and DB um, those are pretty useful for like dumping database checking the size of our database or even um, like connecting to the remote database in the domain section uh, we can like manage uh, domains for our projects in the environment section we have a lot of options a lot of comments uh, to manage our environments and uh, we will see those comments in action in upcoming videos so let's not focus on that integration can be useful for setting up health checks or some webhooks for git repositories like bitbucket or github metrics uh, can be helpful to see insights about our servers like cpu disk usage memory um, we have project sections so we can manage our projects and um, we have snapshots so those commands are useful for creating backups, snapshots, restoring those, and so on. Here we have tunnel sections, um, so also those are pretty useful. Uh, so we can configure a connection to a remote, um, for example, MySQL instance or Elasticsearch, OpenSearch, um, Redis, and so on by opening the tunnel. And uh, also we have sections, we have comments for managing users and managing variables in our projects in our environments. I know it was a quick and brief overview of the comments that we can find in Magento Cloud CLI, but don't worry, in upcoming videos, we will see those comments in action. So we will actually uh, see in practice how they work, uh, because this is actually the best way to learn, see something in action and even try something in practice. So um, in the next video, uh, I will cover the ECE tools. So we will see how to install it. Um, uh, what's the difference like in between Magento Cloud CLI and ECE tools. So um, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.